Hey guys, this is Civil Learning Online and I hope you all are doing well. And today in this video, I am gonna discuss about Rangi Kuta method for the second order differential equation. If you guys are watching this video, in it means you have watched my previous video about the Rangi Kuta method for the second order, third order and fourth order. If not, then the link in the dis is in the description and without any further delay, let's begin the video. So guys let us first go through the basic means uh, basic means uh, uh, first we will discuss about what the type of equation uh, which we will be given which we will be given for the uh, second in second order differential equation some conditions and then I will add uh, the solution of an example based upon the second order differential equation so let us see uh, what type of equation we are provided in such a method and the question may be here second order differential equation means d square y upon dx square which will be given in the form which will be equals to phi x comma y comma dy by dx and guys we will be provided with the condition that y times x naught equals to y naught also y dash x naught equals to y not dash and these are the condition which will be provided we which will be which we will be provided in the question and the after that we will need to do some assumption that is d y by dx equals to z this will be our first assumption so if we assume that d y by dx equals to z then d square y by dx square will automatically be dy sorry dz by dx we have simply just found out the derivative of this condition then on derivating this again we will have d square y by dx square is equal to dz by dx which will be equals to dz then from here we will have uh condi then the question our qu given question will change the for change into the form dz by dx equals to phi x y and dy by dx will get become z this will be our second condition these are the things which we will be which we will see in this method and now let us add an example and let us solve that example so guys here is the question and the question says evaluate y 0.2 by rangi kutas method where y double dash minus x y dash square plus y square equals to 0 y 0 equals to 1 y dash equals to y dash 0 equals to 0 and h equals to 0 0.2 so let us find out the solution of this numerical and right here solution and we are provided the question so exact equation is y double dash minus x y dash square plus y square equals to 0 and let us assume here y dash equals to z this is same which we have so which we have discussed pre earlier that is dy by dx equals to z so we will have here d square y by dx square equals to dz by dx and guys now our equation becomes dz by dx minus x z square plus y square y square equals to 0 or we can rewrite it as dz by dx equals to x z square minus y square and this is going to be our equation 2 and dy by dz is equation 1 these two are the steps which we have discussed earlier here now let us uh, proceed about the further solution of this numerical now after these guys uh, what we have we are provided with the condition that y 0 equals to 1 y dash 0 y dash 0 means z 0 equals to 0 
and h equals to 0 0.2 and also we have f1 x y z equals to dy by dx equals to z and from here we will have f2 x y z will be equals to dz by dx equals to x z square minus y square these two conditions are here and uh, i hope you understood this step here z0 is from here and we have uh, f1 means here we have two equations here so two conditions f1 and f2 now uh, let us find k1 l1 k2 l2 using these equations so we have formula for k1 and k1 is equal to h f1 x node y node z node and guys we have h equals to 0 0.2 which is already provided in the question and f1 is x node y node z node and z node is 0 so f1 0 because in equation 1 let me show you we have see here guys z node is brought him from here z time x node equals to z node and this is our z node z node is equal to 0 and f1 means this equation and here dy by dx equals to z so we will take the value of z only that's why it got 0 here and if we put the value of z equals to 0 then the equation will become 0 and from here we will get k1 guys we have k1 equals to h f1 x naught y naught z naught and we have the value of z naught uh, sorry h equals to 0 0.2 and value of x naught y naught and z naught see here guys we have y times x naught equals to y naught and y naught is 1 and z naught is sorry x naught is 0 similarly we have z times x naught equals to z naught so z naught is 0 and x naught is again 0 here so we have x naught equals to 0 z naught uh, y naught equals to 1 and z naught equals to 0 now if we put uh, these values in this equation f1 x y z and we have dy by dx equals to z only it means we need to take the value of z only so we will if we consider the value of z only and we have z equals to 0 so f0 will be equals to 0 and 0 is multiplied by 0 0.2 f 1 0 will be 0 because uh, we have taken all this value but uh, as per the equation we need to consider the value of z only so we will or we can write it here, like this here 0 0.2 f1 x naught value is 0 y naught value is 1 and z naught value is 0 if we put this value in this equation in this equation then we will have z only and z is equal to 0 so if we put multiply 0 with 0 0.2 we will get is at 0 cancel this use this and now time to calculate l1 l1 equals to h f2 x naught y naught z naught now put the value we will have here 0 0.2 f2 0 1 0 because x naught y naught z naught is going to be same in both the case and put the value of x naught y naught z naught in this equation second equation and the second equation is this x z square minus y square and on putting the value uh, on putting x naught y naught z naught value in this we will get 0 0.2 multiplied by minus 1 so it will become minus 0 0.2 and this is the value of l1 now guys uh, time to calculate k2 and we have formula for finding k2 equals to h f1 x naught plus h by 2 comma y naught plus k1 by 2 comma z naught plus l1 by 2 now put the value because i have already dictated the formula here 0 0.2 f1 and we will get 0 0.1 comma 1 comma minus 0 0.1 and if we put this value in the equation for k2 uh, then we will need to take the value of z only so it will get minus 0 0.02 because in first equation 
x and y are absent here so we will take the value of z only and the value of z is minus 0 0.1 so minus 0 0.1 is multiplied with 0 0.2 we will get minus 0 0.02 now time to calculate l2 and for l2 we have again formula h f2 x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k1 by 2 comma z0 plus l1 by 2 now put the value here and the value of h is 0 0.2 f2 0 0.1 comma 1 comma minus 0 0.1 and on solving this we will get 0 0.2 times minus 0 0.999 and we will get minus 0 0.1992 now let us calculate the value of k3 and k3 equals to h f1 x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k2 by 2 this is also and z0 equals z0 plus l2 by 2 now put the value here 0 0.2 f1 x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k2 by 2 comma z0 plus l2 by 2 so on solving this we will have 0 0.2 f1 0 0.1 comma 0 0.98 comma minus 0 0.999 on solving this we will get minus 0 0.01998 so this is our k3 now time to calculate l3 and we have l3 equals to h f2 x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k2 by 2 comma z0 plus l2 by 2 now put the value here 0 0.2 f2 times 0 0.1 comma 0 0.99 comma minus 0 0.0999 so on solving this we will get minus 0 0.1958 so these are the value of l3 now time to calculate the value of k4 on, on calculating you will get this value i have already calculated this value so i have just i am just written it i am just dictating to you the, providing you the formulas here h f1 x not h comma y not plus k3 comma z not plus l3 and put the formula here 0 0.2 f1 0 comma 0 0.98 comma minus 0 0.1958 and on solving this we will get minus 0 0.03916 similarly for l4 we will have here h f2 x not h comma y0 plus k3 comma z0 plus l3 put the value here 0 0.2 f2 0 0 0.98 comma minus 0 0.1958 and from here we will get minus 0 0.19208 so we have get the value of k1 k2 k3 k4 l1 l2 l3 l4 now use the final equation to calculate the value of y1 and z1 let us calculate k and for k we will have k equals to 1 by 6 times k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 now put the value of k1 k2 k3 k4 and divide it by 6 then we will have here minus 0.1 one nine one and this formula is similar to the that we have used in Rangakuta fourth order method and from here we will get minus 0 0.0198 similarly we will have l equals to 1 by 6 times l1 l2 l3 l4 and from here we will get 1 by 6 times minus 1.18328 and here we will get 0 0.1972 now guys we will have here 
वाई वन इक्वल्स टू वाई नोट प्लस के एंड वी विल हैव हेयर वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन नाइन एट सो वी विल हैव हेयर जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एट जीरो टू सिमिलरली जेड वन विल बी इक्वल्स टू जेड नोट प्लस एल एंड इट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन सेवन टू एंड इट इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन सेवन टू एंड दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर एंड आई होप यू इन्जॉय द टू डेज लेक्चर एंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो डू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ